Okay, guys, uh, and for today, the same thing uh, as per the continuation of our previous, actually, uh, Excel tutorials. For today, we'll be covering uh, the usage of this formula. This is uh, equal lookup, and then for those, the closure of those two brackets, uh, to find out the last number of, actually, uh, in a row or a column in Excel. So for that, I'll go to the Excel I have this data here. And uh, it sometimes um, becomes very difficult to get the last number uh, of a row or a column, given that the data that you have is very big. But for today, we'll be trying to give you a very easy way to find all that, uh, which is the, is the usage of the equal lookup. So uh, I have this very big data from here to here. And then I have, I want to find out Assuming that this is a very big data, but now as a sample, I have from January to June, and then June it says here $100,000. So I want to find out uh, the last value in that row. So I use the formula equal lookup. Then from there, I want to use uh, a scientific notation, which I'll use uh, is a combination of numbers and uh, words. But for that, I say one, uh, e 200 comma and then you select the row or the column for now it is the row that i selected and then you say enter and that i have this number and this number is the last number in that row so uh assume that i add in the month of june in the month of may uh, july uh, let me see, I had another number which is 120,000. It automatically changes anything. If anyone tries to change anything in that number, for me it gives me because I had previously here. Now I have 20,000. If I delete, it gives me 100,000. So I try again in this same, same number, in the same, same usage of the formula. Uh, it's like this equal lookup. And then you see, use the scientific notation, uh, which in this case is, I use, you can use any number, but I use one, uh, E, actually 100, again, I can show that. And then I select, for example, this row of the watch, then I say enter. The last one, it gave me 48,000, and in this, it's 48,000. Let me just select, highlight this one, it's 48,000. I try to add another number here, 300. So which means uh, once you have very big data in Excel and you want to find out the last number in the row, it becomes very easy for you to find out. And for this time now, I'll try to use it for the column because I use it in the row. You have to try also in the in the column. So I just say equal. equal. I use e two hundred. Let me select this one. Let's see. Don't worry. If you want to know which column that you selected or row, you don't click this data and it gives you that you have selected for January now. For January, it's, it gives me the last value is $873,000. Okay, I try to add another number here. Automatically, it has changed. So it means get the last value of a column or row. You use uh, that easy, easy formula, which actually will make you uh, easy to get the last column. Because sometimes you may have a very big data, which uh, might be difficult to scroll down till the last end. But as sample now, we have taken this small data. Okay, uh, guys, this is a very easy formula and very short, but at the same time, very significant and very crucial in your data analysis sometimes to get the last value of maybe uh, TVs or watch. So very simple, if I try the last time, uh, we will actually be doing the last time. You say equal, look up, and then you select the, the scientific notation which we said, any number you can use. Given that, you select there. And now I've selected for paper shelters. I said the last column is 18900, it gives me 18900. 18900, I highlighted number for knowledge, 189, 
automatically it has changed and become the channel ID. So guys, you see this is a very easy formula, but uh, very helpful. Uh, I hope it will be very essential to you uh, in terms of uh, actually uh, knowledge in relation to Excel. So guys, we appreciate your comments and uh, we look forward to giving you more, uh, more actually uh, tutorials on Excel. So uh, thank you and please subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks.